What's up everybody? Today I'm going to take a look at a part of the getup that um, is done wrong far too much. It's really, really dangerous, so uh, I'm not going to waste too much time. I just want to show you what I'm looking at. This is one of the biggest no-nos you can do for a Turkish getup. Okay, so pretty self-explanatory. I'll show you from a different angle in a second. Um, that's just me dropping. Obviously, I'm using a slider, so I don't <laughs> dislocate my shoulder and, and my elbow at the same time. But when I swivel from here, it's up for me. It's up to me to use my hips as an elevator to lower my, myself down, so the weight stays distributed over my hips when I bring my hand out. Now, again, I'll show you what that looks like. If I just lean out and drop, all of the force of that bell is going straight through my arms, shoulders, into the ground, and it's going to bounce up. So watch in slow motion. I come down, down. I'm falling, I'm falling, falling. I hit the ground, boom. And you can actually see right here, you can see the force bounce right back up. And then... The bell falls. Or, well, in this case, the slider falls. In real life, you can get hurt or you can lose the bell. With a lighter bell, you may be able to cheat that. Um, it's a horrible habit. So let me show you what it looks like from the front. <laughs> By the way, that's Andrea. Once again, she's actually not talking to me. She's talking to someone else. But uh, it actually kind of matches up nicely. So let's take a look. Again, terrible. I drop down, bounce, and then the shot goes right up. Slider falls off. So let me show you what, what I'm actually looking for. Again, she's not talking to me. She doesn't call me lady. Okay, so I want to pause for a second. When I come down right here, this is where the bell is. When I go down, look where it stays. It's staying over my body. From here, this allows me to reach out, find the floor, Whoop, no line there. And now from here, now that I'm planted, now I can actually take my weight and shift over onto this arm. And then from here, I could then sweep through and finish the movement. That is how this will be done every time. It doesn't matter if the bell is light or heavy. The depth of how far you hinge, that may change a little bit depending on how heavy the bell is. But this hip hinge has to be there in the getup every time, okay? All right, hope this helps out.